people. Listen to the words. And this is, listen, let me say this Kamala Harris. And myself personally, I'm not voting for no fucking body. But I'm going to put it this right here. Let me tell you something, Kamala Harris. You are not the true indigenous to this land. You come from the $5 Indians, the fake Indians. Your, your people is. It's the fake Indian, Indians. That's the reason why come you have melanin in your blood. You come from the fake Indians. Okay? But let me say this right here. My people, this is who you voting for. You mean to tell me, for y'all done did everything that y'all could for every other country, every other nationality, all the migrants and everybody that's coming here on this very soil that belongs already belongs to us brown melanated people. They are coming to reap the benefits. My people have done been been through the worst, the worst of the fucking worst. And when we talking about reparations, what did Miss Kamala Harris say? What did Miss Kamala Harris say? Hold on, y'all. What did what what did Miss 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 Kamala Harris say? Let's go and see what Miss Kamala Harris say. Chins for black people. Well, listen. Again, we had over started over. Do you support reparations for black people? Well, listen. Look at this. Look, look, look. Again, look. we had over 200 years of slavery. We had Jim Crow for almost a, a, a century. Remember that, Kamala? We had legalized discrimination and segregation, and now we have it, it, le segregation and discrimination that is not legal but still exists and is a barrier to progress. We have disparities around housing. We have disparities around education. We have disparities around income. And we have to recognize that Everybody did not start Look how she looking at Kamala. Footing. You ain't saying the right thing, Kamala. And in particular, black people have not. And so we have got to recognize that and do something about that and give folks a lift up. That's why, for example, I'm proposing the LIFT Act. The LIFT Act that she never did nothing about. $100,000 or less as a family, a tax credit, which will benefit and uplift 60% of black families who are in poverty. So by default, it affects black families, but there's not a particular policy for African Americans that you would explain. It's not a particular no, no, for African Americans. She said no. The, the reality of who will benefit from certain policies. She said no. When you take into account that they're not starting at the, at the same place and they're not stand, they're not starting on equal footing, it will directly benefit. Black children, black families, black homeowners. We're talking about because something for the black issues. collective, not involving everybody so else, Kamala. on the specific issues that have resulted in the greatest disparities. And we understand that that's part of why we're doing it. Listen, the, the reality also is this. Any policy that will benefit black people will benefit all of society. Let's be clear about that. Why do it got to benefit all of society, Pauls? Why does it have to be benefit all of society when all of society didn't take this Willie Lynching and, and Jim Crow and all of that? All these motherfuckers went here? Didn't nobody build this bitch, but everybody's reaping the benefits off our fucking back. And Kamala Harris, you saying no. What you're going to do is going to benefit for everybody. But everybody wasn't the one who been through the shit. That my brown melanated people been through. Nobody. And what you say? No. You want to which way to benefit everybody. Everybody didn't do this. Everybody didn't be, uh, build this country. Everybody didn't go to, through the fucking hell that, that we've been through as a people. But these are the people that you, you're running out to give your votes for. Let's finish what she's saying. That's only gonna benefit black people? No. She says not gonna only benefit black people. Let me take it back. Let me take a look back. Now. Uh huh. Listen, the, the reality also is this: any policy that will benefit black people will benefit all of society. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about all that. of society, not so for I'm just not black. Sit here and say I'm gonna do something that's only gonna benefit black people. No. She said no. Whatever benefits. She said no. Benefit that community and society. She and said no. Country. Right? No, bitch, not right. Not right. Let's play it a little bit back, back again. Let's really society. Let's be clear about that. Let's really be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. 
No. No. Whatever benefits that black family will benefit that community and society as a whole and the country. Right? No, bitch. Not right. Not right. Pause. Everybody want to run out here casting your votes for people that you ain't even doing the background check on. Kamala Harris done locked up more motherfucking brown melanated brothers in her career of being a DA. Thousands of brothers. Thousands. Let's see what Kamala Harris did to this gentleman here. Would have thought that they were going to charge me for sales murder. I never talked to no detective, no police officer, no DA, nobody. Just arrested and then charged. Arrested and charged. That's it. Was the first time you saw Kamala Harris in person the day that the verdict was issued? She showed up at the two most pivotal times in this first trial and me being convicted and me being sentenced. She wanted to be present for a celebration of a, of a conviction. That's what it felt like, a That's celebration? A celebration. That's what it felt like. The reaction I get when I tell people my story is they say it's, it's the worst nightmare. It's the closest thing to dying. Jamal, I want to read you a, a quote real quick. The job of a progressive prosecutor is to look out for those overlooked, to speak up for those whose voices aren't being heard, to see and address the causes of crime, not just their consequences, and to shine a light on the inequality and unfairness that lead to injustice. It is to recognize that not everyone needs punishment, that what many need, quite obviously, is help. Kamala Harris wrote that uh, in her book, The Truce We Hold. Uh, does that sound consistent with the kind of, with, with the brand of justice that you saw administered by offices that she was running? It definitely sounds like Kamala Harris right now as a senator, but at the time of her being the head district attorney of San Francisco, that is almost polar opposite of what I felt and what our community felt in San Francisco. This is my where are we? Uh, right now we are in Sunnydale Projects, where I was born and raised at. Now this isn't a place that you, you want to bring outsiders into in a place that they don't want to go. This ain't a place that feels comfortable. It feels like you might get robbed, you might get shot. Police. We're keeping files on you, and your brothers, and other people who were living in San Diego from a very young age. They are, have already had me labeled because I'm in this community as a potential gang member, potential killer, potential drug dealer. You gotta wake up to the fact that you know things are set up against us. Yes, it is. Conspiracy. Yes, it happened to you. Exactly. There it's proven in court. Absolutely. Places like this have been developed for predominantly African American people God damn to right. not be able to succeed beyond it. That's right. What did you know about Kamala Harris? What did you know about San Francisco having a black TA? Nobody in the hood ever worried or focused on the DA position in general, but people did focus on it just a tad bit that it was black and feeling like, okay, this black lady in office, Kamala Harris, she's going to understand where we come from, you know, and have more of a sympathetic way of prosecuting people that come from our communities who have been plagued with no opportunities. This is Hunter's Point, where these different... Uh, projects and communities used to really war with each other. Jamal, in July 2007, what's going on in your life at that point? I have recently just came off of I Love New York, and also that's when my friend Sel Kuku got killed. More than a year goes by, and no one's been arrested in the case. You hadn't even been questioned. I haven't even been questioned, no. The police was still, you know, trying to get a conviction by all means necessary. When I was arrested for it, the community knew I didn't do it. And it was a, here we go again. See, this is why we don't trust, you know, law the, the, You got damn right. 
it gets to a point where somebody who didn't do something goes to jail for it. I don't have no history of crime. What's up, what? I have a history of being around in the community, but that doesn't mean that I'm a suspect. I'm like, oh, man, I'll be out within 72 hours. They're going to figure this out. They're going to clear this up. And then when you found out what the evidence was that they supposedly had you on, uh, can you, there wasn't much there. Can you describe what it was? They had a, a woman saying that she seen me uh, kill Sam. The second witness that they had really wasn't a witness at all. She said anything that the police officers wanted her to say, and they said that her recollection of the of the events was extremely credible. So that's what ultimately got the arrest warrant. The district attorney of San Francisco, Kamala Harris, appeared in the courtroom during your trial twice. Yeah, the two times that Kamala Harris um, showed up to my trial was the when I got convicted and also when they laid down the sentencing. When you saw her on the day that the verdict was handed down, did you take that as a bad sign? It, it felt to me that she was well aware about my case and she was there to set her presence, almost take pride in getting a conviction. Let's talk about Miss Kamala Harris. Y'all were now giving her your votes. <laughs> she don't give a damn about your brown melanated appeal, people. The people that's fighting against my appeal to keep the conviction is the attorney general office. I learned it reading, you know, their their reply to my uh, appeal, and you see Kamala Harris' name at the bottom. And now it, it's starting to feel a little personal. When you win the thirteen point one million dollars, yes, he won it. What she did to him, he won enough. it. There's not an amount that can get back those seven years that, uh, well, six and a half years that I spent in prison. But instead of me coming home feeling like I was a victim, I wanted to prove that I was, that I'm a survivor and I will not let my story go unheard. That's right. You know, I'm not necessarily saying I'm looking for an apology, but some acknowledgement from her that she could have messed up would be, of course, that would be huge. You could have made some mistakes. You could have missed some things. For me, it was a big miss. You know, I had life in prison. I've met people in prison that was wrongfully convicted. I want my story to be out to provoke reform, ultimately. Beyond that, I want to be able to be who I want to be. I'm an actor. You know, I'm a musician, I'm a father, I'm more than this person that was framed, I'm more than this person that was wrongfully convicted. Thank you for your testimony, my brother. So see, now you see, Kamala is not for you just because her color looks similar to yours. All skin folk ain't kin folk. And I ain't saying run out here and vote for nobody. If ain't nobody talking about giving you back your land, if ain't nobody talking about reparations to, to, to our people, which we know we ain't going to get it. We're not going to get it because what did Kamala Harris say? She said, no. She, no. If people black, I'm not just doing nothing for black people. No. It's what she said. And y'all run out here and give her your votes. Y'all giving this woman her, your votes just because she look like you. But you ain't did no background check at all. None. The sheep that's running to the slaughterhouse. You better be careful those people, those those people, that's, those wolves that's dre dressed up in sheep clothing. I just wanted to share that, y'all. Kamala Harris is not shit. Ain't shit. She ain't never been shit. She was over Biden, put her over the, the border. For all the immigrants to stop the immigrants, Kamala Harris have not did a motherfucking thing, not shit. And the thing that she told that she had uh, 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 put in place, she was going to put in place for people to, uh, black people still to be able to benefit off of it, she never did. She tell you this shit to get you to vote for her. And then she do the very fucking opposite than what the fuck she said she was going to do. I'm just spreading some knowledge to you. Y'all have a grand rest of your day. I shake.